Good morning, everyone. I believe that no one is absent today. Am I right? Good. Let me remind you that you need to write your argumentative essay at the end of this quarter. Uh, to make your essay an effective one, you need to understand your topic first fully. And one of the topics that you can cover is the conflicts faced by teenagers like you. Yesterday, we briefly talked about them. Do you still remember? Good. What are they? Would you mind giving one? Faith. Financial problem. Nice. What else? Uh, Ellen, are you raising your hand? Go on. Peer pressure. Yes. What more? Florally. Requirement overload. Yes. You all got a good memory. So, these are some of the conflicts that we briefly discussed and could serve as a springboard for your essay. But we need to narrow it down and look closely at their causes and how to solve them. But before we delve into our topic, let us first solve the mystery word through a picture puzzle. Here is what you are going to do. You need to complete the crossword puzzle with the help of some clues. Then, arrange the letters from the colored boxes to determine the mystery word. You will be given five seconds to think of your answer. Let's begin. Number one, strong and warm affection. This starts with letter L. Yes, Ralph. What is your answer? Good. It is love. Number two. The ability to use one's experience and knowledge starts with W. Your answer, May Rose? Right. It is wisdom. You're doing great. Let's have the third one. Being gentle. Can you guess what this is, Christine? The answer is kind. Let's find the answer to number four, horizontal. The quality of being truthful. The answer to this is yes, Mark. Good. Honesty. What about the answer to number four, vertical? A desire to help others. The correct word for this, Lizelle, is helpful. Nice. And last one, number five. It refers to someone likable. Any idea, Nasha? The answer is adorable. Since you've already filled out all the boxes in this puzzle, can you now guess the mystery word? Of course, it is family. Good work, class. What you see here is a picture of a Filipino family. Can you tell me about them or us Filipinos? Write what you think. I will be giving you time to come on the board and write your ideas. Okay, so let's see what you have written. Mm-hmm. We have here strong family ties extended families often live together oh that's true who among you are living with their grandparents oh i'm seeing a lot of hands that really shows that we cherish our family hmm what else is in here uh who wrote god fearing yes cherry why did you say so mm. Yes, I agree with you. 
because most of us Filipinos are Christians. Some of you wrote, has respect and loyalty, and put importance and family before anything else. Okay, all of your answers are true. In your social studies, you learned that a family is the smallest unit of society, right? And it plays a vital role in the holistic development of a person. Do you think that there are perfect families? Families that do not have problems? Well, I couldn't agree more. Each family is dealing with its problems. And that is what we will find out through an essay written by Lee Banks entitled Four Causes of Family Conflict. Uh, I have given this to you as a reading assignment, right? And I also told you to write a short outline of the main and supporting ideas. Who accomplished this? Good. Okay, I will flash picture puzzles on the screen and you will try to guess what the problem is all about. Okay? What problem do you think this is? Eva. Yes, it has something to do with a family who doesn't have enough to eat. Their problem is in finances. Based on the outline that you've made, what are the example situations that point out to this kind of problem? Can you please write them on the board? Yes, all of your answers are right. So if you see these kinds of situations, you will know that you're dealing with problems in finances. Who among you have this kind of problem at home? Mm -hmm. Most of us are experiencing this. Okay, let's take a look at the next conflict. Any guess? Jennifer. Mm-hmm. You think it is about siblings arguing with one another. Thank you for your thought. Actually, that is correct. Who among you have siblings? Do you get along with them? <laughs> That's normal. I too have a sister and we don't get along well sometimes. So according to Banks, this is called, yes, sibling rivalry. What have you got in your outline? What are the situations where there is sibling rivalry? Yes, all of your answers will lead to this kind of problem. So you better talk calmly with your siblings to avoid confrontations. Okay, we are on the third conflict. What conflict are we dealing with here? Anyone? Irma. Right, we are dealing with child discipline. What could be its causes? Write them on the board. Yes, sometimes one parent acts as the angel for he or she always consoles, and the other acts as the monster, for he or she always disciplines. The last problem is, what do you think, Badeth? Good thinking. It has something to do with the in-laws. Write information that would support your answer. Yes, according to the essay, you could have problems like this if you are living with your grandparents. Uh, suppose they are always meddling with their family or disapprove of their son's or daughter's marriage. That could be a problem. You are really good in outlining. Keep that up. This time, I will test whether you could identify situations leading to these kinds of conflicts through 
a name wheel. So, all of your names are already listed on this wheel. Once I spin the wheel and your name is pointed at, you will read the situation and identify the conflict each situation presents. You will be given 10 seconds to think before you can say your final answer. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's start spinning. Rosanna, here is number one situation. Sheila keeps on nagging her husband since he lost his job because of his drinking habits. What is your answer? Are you sure? Correct. Why did you say so? Yes, because her husband doesn't have a job. There is no money coming into the family. Let's spin again. Lizelle, here is your situation. Dan is always the top one in his class. His parents always praise him, unlike Mark, his younger brother. That is why Dan gets jealous of Mark. What kind of conflict does this situation show? Let's see if your answer is correct. Oh no, <laughs> try again. The correct answer is sibling rivalry. Why is it the answer? Yes, it is obvious that Dan is jealous of his younger brother, Mark. Going back to the wheel. Who is the lucky name? Lorleen. Here is the third situation. Danny's grandfather always questions the disciplinary actions made by Danny's parents. What conflict does this show? In-laws. Correct. Why did you say so? Good point. The grandfather is meddling with the family's affair. Next name will be Marcel. Here is the situation. Nurse Hazel always misses important events on her child's life because she is working abroad and only visits once a year. What seems to be the problem? Right, finances. How come? Yes, Nurse Hazel needs to work abroad to provide for her family's needs. Well, you're pretty good at identifying those problems. This time, I will be sharing with you this graph from the Philippine Statistics Authority on the main reasons of teenagers for not attending school. What seems to be the least reason based on this graph? Marie? Yes, peer pressure. How many percent? Three percent. Can you give examples of peer pressure? Pia. Mm-hmm. Mm, yes, so when you are pressured to skip classes because of your so-called barcadas, would just like to hang out, that is called peer pressure. Okay, what about the main reason why teenagers here in the Philippines do not go to school? Marlon. Family matters. It has how many percent? 31 percent. What does this indicate? Ken? Good observation. Even if the family is the smallest unit in society, it can still cause a greater problem to an individual. Since I had already grouped you into four yesterday, can you please go to your respective groups at the count of ten? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you all in your proper groups? Good. I have here a box containing situations of family conflict. 
Now, choose a representative to come here and pick one. Okay, since you have already picked, you need to show ways on how to prevent the family conflict you've got. You will present either by composing a song, a rap, or a spoken poetry. Your choice. This rubric will guide you. To get a high score, you have to excel in the following criteria. Lyrics, creativity, information, and mechanics. I will be giving a copy of this, so don't worry. You will be given 10 minutes to prepare for your presentation. Your timer starts now. Well done, everyone. Your presentations deserve a pat on the back. Again, what are the four causes of family conflicts? Yes, Dorothy. Financial problem. What else? Mark. Sibling rivalry. Christine. Child discipline. And the last one, Jane. In-laws. Any questions or clarifications on our topic today? If there is none, I will now give you your assignment. Write a short paragraph describing the conflict you have at home and how you can prevent or overcome it. This will be passed tomorrow, okay? If there are no more concerns, let us call this a day. Goodbye, class. God bless.